Hi, this is Steve Irwin with Go Engineer. I just wanted to show some quick tips on how to apply appearances to a model within uh, a SOLIDWORKS uh, file. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go in and open up the uh, appearances uh, category inside of the um, task pane. You could go ahead and tack it if you know that you're going to be applying multiple appearances. Let's start out by applying an overall appearance to this um, solid sphere. So I'm going to come in and the appearance I'm going to apply is the satin or matte type finish to the global part. I'm going to use a color to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to drag it over here and just drop it on our sphere. When I do that, I get a variety of different categories I can apply the um, color to or the appearance. I'm going to choose the part level which will apply it to the entire part. That will give it that blue satin appearance. Then I want to come in and apply a specific high gloss appearance to just a specific surface. I've already created a split surface on this sphere so that I can apply a specific different color or appearance to that area. Again, I'm going to drag it over the area that I want to apply to and then I hover over my face that I want to apply that high gloss appearance to. Once I select it, you won't see a big difference here because I am not using our real, real view representation at this time. So if I want to really see the surface change in appearance, if I come up to the little view settings, I can come in here and I can turn on my real view graphics card and now we can see our uh, full definition easily between the satin finish or matte finish and the high gloss area finish. This has been a quick tip on applying appearances. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thank you.